My name is Leonne Stendler and I'm a former player of the Dutch national team and I'm an advocate for women's football worldwide. I'm in Malawi because UEFA Foundation started a project in which they use football for gender equality. I believe that sports can play a significant role in the empowerment of young women. Personally, football has brought me a lot and I hope it brings a lot for the girls in Malawi too. Because let's be honest, football isn't just a sport for men, right? So Judith, can you tell me more about the problems people in Malawi are facing? Uh, you know, Malawi uh, is a poor country. As such, we face a lot of challenges. Uh, one of them is that uh, Malawi is still lagging behind in terms of gender equality. At the same time, we have issues to do with forced marriages among girls. You will find most girls are dropping out of school. Uh, the issues to do with the HIV and AIDS, the challenge is just very big. Yeah. So why is it harder for girls than it is for boys? Uh, women and girls are always supposed to be submissive to men and boys. As such, a girl child can't go further with her education. Girls are supposed to take care of the babies, take care of the, their homes, domestic chores, while a boy child is supposed to uh, pursue further with his education and have a job. So it is important to change the situation of women and girls in our country because women and girls have their own dreams. For them to achieve this, it means we need a supportive environment. So during sports tournaments, we invite everyone from the community to participate and listen. So for example, we have the police who are there to provide information related to rape cases. So if you're a victim of rape, you can go to the police and get the service. If you want a condom, you can go to the nurse and access a condom. Beliefs, myths, and the cultural issues are the ones that are burning our parents from allowing our youths to access health services. We are advocating to parents that they should make sure that the youth come to the hospitals. Why? Because we don't want our youth to fall into problems that are hindering development to the nation. We make sure that we bring the services closer to provide trainings to young girls and boys on sexual reproductive health and gender equality. So it's not just about football. We use football as a platform to provide or disseminate various messages for our young people. And this is something so special in the sense that we have UEFA Foundation International, we have Smavi from Netherlands, we have Kavok from Malawi. All, the, all these three partners come together to achieve gender equality in Malawi. Uh, this tournament is uh, really reducing the misconception that we Malayans have that football is only for boys. This is uh, really creating a change in our minds. Do you think football is a sport for girls? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Do you think football is a sport for girls too? Yes! <laughs> a girl is, can also play football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice because it builds confidence in them self-discipline, yeah. uh, the issues to do with the teamwork, spirit. These things can help them to make safe and informed decisions in future. So yeah, it's good that girls too do play football. Yes, yeah. I think so too. We are all equal. Yeah. Uh, we should work together hand in hand. Yeah. No matter uh, she's a girl or a boy, no. Yeah. But we should be all equal. Yeah. Again. This UEFA Foundation program is so important to make sure uh, the girls gain self-esteem, to know how to speak up, uh, to know more about their bodies and uh, their capabilities. So by playing football and doing sports, they, they get courage and that really gives me energy and gives me hope. In a culture with such a gender inequality, I was so surprised seeing all these girls playing football surrounded by all the men of the villages that they had the courage to stay there on the field and just play football, you know, being in a men's sport. Uh, when you see that happen and, and when you see them uh, being fierce on the field, I think that was, uh, was something amazing to see. <laughs>